Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Rib. Today it's a 5M tutorial. Quite a few people have been asking me what is the graphic mod enhancer reshader that I'm using over on the 5M. So I'm going to take you through. It's very simple. It's called a reshade. So first of all, all the links will be in the description, but I'm going to show you now. I've just uninstalled it to reinstall it to show you guys how to do it. Bear with me. Just got the triple screen and it keeps going to the left. Get on there, you bloody thing. There we go. Right, so all you want to do, boys, is type in here. Type in reshade. So, for God's sake. Help if my keyboard is next to me. Reshade. Oh, for goodness sake. Reshade. Sorted. Link will be down below. So go to Reshade and download this. That's all you have to do. Download. Download Reshade. Happy day. So as you can see, it's downloaded. It'll be in your download folder. Double click when it's done. And it'll look like this. So it says select a game to install or uninstall from. So first of all, you want to click that and then go to your steam steam apps common grand theft auto 5 mine's in my d drive so it's your steam steam apps common grand theft auto 5 yours is probably in your program files 86 anyhow so select the gta 5 application and then go okay then what you want to do is click the direct 3d then it says do you want to override the existing so you won't have that because it'll be a fresh one for you so yes and it says do you want to download a collection of standard effects yes and there we go so let this do its thing it doesn't take long a couple of secs it's, it's not a really a big install it's not a big setup and that is pretty much done but if you open 5m it won't work unless you change a file name so let's go to our steam directory again get over here so mine like i say is d drive steam steam apps common grand theft auto 5 and then down here you're gonna have a file called dxgi so let's go down to dxgi uh, there it is so what you're going to do you need to rename this because it will not launch with that being named that so what you want to do you want to change it to d3d10 exactly as it appears there lowercase d3d10 press enter now let's load up 5m 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 there we go i need to get an organized on this desktop so let's load her up happy day see if you don't rename that file it your game won't load or the, the shader just won't be won't be installed correctly so here we go and as you can see by at the top it is working but what you can do if you press your home key and you can set this up um you might have a, a quick little little uh tutorial to just go through it takes like two seconds and then you'll be greeted with this but i'm not going to mess with that yet we'll go in again direct let's just jump on the so say nation happy days you can also download presets for the reshader so there's like a it's the rage enhance graphic enhancer preset there's loads of presets i don't have any presets to be fair uh, i just click what i think looks good so i've i use the clarity i use the colorfulness um, there's, there's that many different ones i've got to say um i don't know why it's not let me on or has it let me on this time yeah it's let me on okay okay there we go there we go <laughs> Right, when we're in, I'll show you how to quickly set it up, and happy days. Yes, mate. So say nation, mate. Get yourselves there, boys. 18 plus, whitelisted, 30 mic and crew. Happy days. Right, nearly there, boys. Like I say, it's a very quick tutorial. It's a very quick uh, setup, but it does make a big difference. And let me know what presets you use or what settings you have, what you think looks best. But it definitely makes a big difference. Anyhow, we are in. Once we get loaded, there we go. As you can see, we are in. So if you press your home key, the, the main key is home key. This is just my admin because I'm an admin. Right, and all these different settings here. Um, so yeah, turn them on and off. You will see as you do them. Obviously, I can't really tell because of my bloody admin menu. Um, but anything you click here, you'll see an, a, a different straight away. You see? But depending on what you think looks good. At the minute, I just have... I don't know if I have that. Did I just click that on? Colourfulness. And I have clarity, adaptive sharpen levels you can see the little difference it's making 
So yeah, go through this. Depending on what you like, what you think looks good. Or you can download a preset. Like, I've got the real Rage Graphics Enhancer preset. Or if I can go to a default preset. Well, basically, have a mess. And get it to where you like it. Press the home key to get rid of it again. Get rid of that. Happy days! So that, my friends, is how to set up the reshade for your Grand Theft Auto V. Have a mess with the presets. Download some decent presets. The link is are down below. Hope it helps. Like and subscribe. See you later, you lovely people. Peace.